Pop up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's here. Hey, David Jaffe, hey, man. Yeah. Can you, you miss my you you missed my last uh my last text on Discord. It was brilliant. I oh I'm sorry I didn't see it man I'm I'm a boomer Come when it comes to Discord man Come I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, first gracious. of all, chat, can you guys hear us okay? We're just making sure. All right, there we go. Let's can see. You hear uh, oh, <laughs> that's what I told you. <laughs> Let me pop out the chat so I can see the chat while yeah. I'm seeing you guys. One second. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I I, I would find it way too distracting. Uh, you seem to be getting the hang of it. It's good. Yeah. Okay. You seem to be getting the hang of this whole uh, streaming thing. Oh, I've been doing it. It, it goes so fucking. Yes. You it goes so. You forgot about it. Hey, come on, shh. please. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, uh, you know, I wrote in your Discord. I said, "Be a fucking man, you handstand in your kitchen, fat belly motherfucker." <laughs> you actually saw I, that. I saw that for a moment because I was like, oh, is it 1.30? And I'm like, no, it's it's too early. So, But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, man, what's going on? How are you? Not much, man. I'm uh, doing good. Uh, I'm a little bit tired now. Because right. as, as you know, I did a handstand, and I haven't done that in months. Uh, I, used right. to be a, uh, I used to be a gymnast, but I shouldn't be doing stuff like that anymore. <laughs> so... I mean, I felt my heart pumping. The fact the fact that you can is is pretty is is pretty great. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah. So, how's the stream going? It's going good, man. Uh, we haven't met our goal, but hey, we got four hundred dollars, and that's that's just amazing. That's you know? excellent. What is, what is your goal? I, I'm not seeing the screen right uh, now. I'm just seeing you. Seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. Seven fifty. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. Well. What 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 are are you just getting people to donate through the YouTube? Uh, yeah. App? The, there's other. Yeah, ways. that's a. No, well, there are, but I mean, I, I've I've really enjoyed. Like, we did something for uh, India the other day uh, that was through eBay, and they just take care of all of it. And then before that, we did something uh, for YouTube. Uh, what was our? What was that cause? It was really, uh, I think, it was Doctors Without Borders. For yeah, the whole I, I actually donated. I, I was there. I donated uh, like twenty bucks. Oh, I think. I, I, thank I you very much. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's great because the 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 streamer, you know. There's so many problems with taxes and stuff that if you donate it to the streamer and then they have to take it and they have to then give it to the charity, then yeah. you're kind of, you know, it's a nightmare. Exactly. But I, I love that these companies have now, you know, really set up uh, uh, these uh, systems. So it's really easy to, to help people out in need. So yeah, no, it's yeah. good stuff. They actually asked me like, if, if there was another way. I'm like, and my girlfriend said like, oh, you can donate them to, through PayPal. I'm like, no, don't do that. Because then if I forget or something, then I'm going to get in big trouble just like not just I, not just that but if you depending on how much money you make if suddenly you you made let's say five thousand dollars in charity yeah and then you're still on the hook to pay taxes for that even though you donate it yeah the, yeah. the chair the charitable donation is tax deductible but you receiving the money my understanding is you still got to pay taxes so it's like right. oh yeah, yeah fuck it yeah. fuck it no much uh, better this yeah, way i'm much glad youtube way. Uh, is doing it this way it's, it's much more accessible yeah. for uh, for us streamers a absolutely yeah so how are you, man? I heard you uh, got I'm the good. vaccine uh, recently. Like, are you? Is your I face got melting? the. Uh, no, no, no. My face is not like uh, Aloy's face. No. Um, I, uh, I, I, uh, I was gonna ask I, about that. <laughs> we can talk about whatever you want. I, uh, I, I got it on the second one on Friday, okay. and I was, you know, I was real tired on Saturday. I never felt sick. I just felt really uh, draggy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yesterday was mostly fine, and today I'm back to normal. So. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's really, you know, the whole thing's pretty, you know, I'm, I'm still very nervous about another wave of this stuff because I know in, in uh, not India, uh, you know, it was in, in India, India thought they were done and yeah. then everybody took out to the streets and, you know, went to festivals and all that. Mm -hmm. And now they have the worst uh, COVID outbreak uh, ever. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's horrific. Right. And so I'm hoping, like I saw a friend of mine that was tweeting pictures uh, in the uh, French quarter of New Orleans today. Yeah, sorry, keep, keep talking. I just got to get rid of this. Abs ab absolutely. No, no, no worries. I'll do your show for you. <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, absolutely packed. And then I guess the Indianapolis 500 was, was massive and packed. Um, and who knows how many were vaccinated. But I hope that, that, we haven't jumped the gun in America and been all like, Oh, we're done. But that said though, it's pretty fucking great to have a lot more people vaccinated. Yeah. We were almost down to 10,000, uh, in America yesterday, uh, in San Diego, it was like nothing, you know? Yeah. So it's, it, we could very well be turning the corner, which would be, uh, fucking great. It's gonna, it's gonna scary with the U S cause uh, there's that mentality that you shouldn't take the vaccine. You should be scared of it and all that. 
I actually I'm in the states Ooh. right now. I'm from Canada. I don't know if you know that. Uh, and I Canada don't know that, <laughs> but I know that you guys have uh, your your look. No, no country's perfect, and yeah. certainly America is not. But Canadians tend to be nicer than Americans. <laughs> but that's probably because you guys have a better social safety net than we have. Here. Yeah, yeah. No, I, what, I don't. What I was gonna I, say you know, is that I couldn't take it in, in Canada because people are actually taking it. And I came to the, the U.S. And they had a lot of it, so I was actually able to take it here. Like they, they didn't ask oh, for that's documents. Good. So I'm getting mine in a few days now. So that's good because uh, in Canada yeah. I would not have been able to get it in a few until a few months have gone by. So gotcha, cool. Yeah. That's great. Great news. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Yeah. So um, so who's got who's got Crohn's disease over there? It's uh, my girlfriend, and she's actually got a question for you like later on about God of War one. But I'm gonna let her. I'm okay. gonna save it for the end. <laughs> I know a guy who has Crohn's disease. He's a computer programmer, actually, and he, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a pain, man. So I'm glad you guys are raising money for it. That's Literally, excellent. Yeah. Not a lot of people know, yeah. but I didn't know about it because uh, I only. Found I, that... I think I say, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I only found out when I met her. Then she started talking about uh, her condition and all that. Because otherwise, I would not have known about it. The um, the the biggest they they name these diseases so stupidly um because it's just like you know they need to name them after something that that you know sticks in people's mind crohn's disease yeah always struck me i knew i heard of it and i was like is that like a like a witch you turn into a witch i didn't really think you turn into a crone but i was just like you heard it here guys why would, he believes in witches right David Jeffy. <laughs> I, well my 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 son is a practicing warlock so you know is that a thing? Uh, i had i had well you know it's more ironic on his part <laughs> i had him in the i had him in the emergency room the other night because he had uh an infection from a operation it's not a big deal just he had a a, a thing in his arm they took out and then it got infected so we took him there and they cleaned it all up but when i was registering and they said well what's your r religious affiliation and if you don't mind me asking and i i was like i don't really know why it's relevant I, i'm like but i guess it is because if you die or you're on your deathbed they want to know if they should call a, a priest or something and I said, well, for me, I'm atheist, but uh, my my son is uh, is a Satanist, but I don't think you have that in your computer. And he's only a Satanist uh, in the sense that, like, there was a, have you seen this movie called Hail Satan? I have not. I have not. No. It's, it's a documentary. It came out a couple of years ago. Um, it's really good. Mm -hmm. But what's fascinating about it is uh, it, it, they're not really, it, it, it's ironic. Like, even though I don't care if you pray to Satan, doesn't matter to me. I think it's all bullshit anyway. But um, ultimately, though, they're taking the piss out of the religious culture in certainly in America that tries the to shame people. Like the, the Bible belt. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah and, and so it's more, it, it really is more of a of, of, of sort of a taking the piss about you know, not, you know, they, they support freedom of expression and, and the first amendment and all that stuff. So yeah, it's actually, I have, I have heard the, their tenants and the, they don't sound that bad. I mean, the, no, they're, they're not actually yeah. going around supporting Satan. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of ironic, but, yeah. uh, Rudra in your chat is terrible. Rudra, you're going to hell. Rudra say? says, if he says, if my son was a Satanist, he wouldn't be my son anymore. You're a terrible father. <laughs> you're a terrible father, Rudra. What a piece of shit. No offense to your chat. Good it's news good. is you don't have to worry about losing and subscribers because they just don't come to me but that's terrible your <laughs> your your child is your fucking is, is your greatest treasure on this fucking planet you moron who gives a shit what he or she prays to i was who gonna gives say. a shit are they happy are they fucking happy are they living their life the best they can and sit back shut the fuck up and be proud you motherfucker i was All gonna right, say, let's go i was gonna say yeah, visit David Jaffe's channel because this is what you get. Like, I saw your video of Alloy's face and all that, and my yeah. girlfriend and I were just laughing because like, you just get into these ranty videos, and they're they're the best. I don't know, like you just get pissed at gamers sometimes. <laughs> I they don't yeah, and it's really really rough because I had a guy write me the other day and say, oh, here's this Carson guy. Chill out, Jaffe. <laughs> Chill out, Jaffe. Fuck off, man. I live my life passionately. Okay, I don't. I this is what I think it is. I'm going to tell you what I think it is, sir. Go for it. Um, I, 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 I'll tell you a very, very brief story. Um, I was uh, at a birthday party in San Francisco, and we had flown in a bunch of my wife's friends from all over because we had moved up to San Francisco, and it was a big surprise. Blah blah blah. Um, and you know, she had uh, there was a, a couple with us, a couple of gay guys, and. The, the 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 one of the guys was uh raised he's a white guy raised i think like 
Protestant or some kind of Christian religion. Sure. I don't yeah. know what it was. And then his boyfriend was raised uh, Jewish. Okay. And I, even though I'm not Jewish, I was raised Jewish and told, I mean, I was an, I was an atheist agnostic since I was like seven, but I was, you know, my, I was raised Jewish still. I never believed it, but ultimately wh that culture, I know I talked to Colin Moriarty last week about sort of Italian culture. The, the idea of there are some cultures where that kind of passion argumentative questioning thing is is normal and whenever and, and healthy and fun. And whenever I see people on the Internet like you need to chill. Calm down, calm down. I'm like, motherfucker, this is fun for me. I'm not literally getting up from my computer like, oh, oh, <laughs> I I'm, my, <laughs> my Victorian sensibilities have been offended. What do I do? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what do you want to talk about? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's well, do I it. Mean, first of all, I, I wanted to ask you because I know you worked in Nick Hey, Mania. Hip Hop Gamer is in your chat. Who's that? <laughs> Who's Hip Hop Gamer? He's one of yours? the most... <laughs> He's a fucking games journalist. You would recognize him. He carries the big WWE belt around all the video game conventions. He interviews celebrities about video games. He just interviewed the other day. Who was that woman he interviewed talking about Street Fighter? He's a big fucking deal. He's I'm in so your sorry, chat. I'm sorry, gamer. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm going to have to uh, you know, read more in uh, game journalism and stuff. I'm re really sorry. But thank you all so right. much for being here. I, it's, <laughs> it's your show. I'll shut up. Let's go. It's all good. Um, I wanted to ask you first because I know you started game design with... Uh, Mickey Mania, I think, for the SNES. Yeah, and I wanted and to ask you, like, and Genesis and all all the systems. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you go way back. So, how was it working for Nintendo as opposed to Sony? Like, what's uh... I, I never worked for Nintendo. I've only worked for or with Sony. So that was I was a tester at Sony in 1992. Uh, you know, I had come from uh, USC where I went to study film. Although I studied creative writing, my grades weren't good enough to get in the film school, and. Uh, and so, but I was always, you know, doing things with an eye to make movies and TV shows. I had actually sold a couple of TV shows in college. Awesome. And so when I got to Sony as a tester, just because I needed a job, yeah. uh, I was like, oh, I could do a lot of sort of storytelling and movie making stuff that I love, but I can do it uh, through video games. And so around that time, um, we heard that Disney was... Uh, uh, looking to for a, a, a publisher to because they didn't really have a video game division like that for console games at the time they were looking for a publisher to make a game based on the lion king and yep. mickey mouse's 65th anniversary and so me and my design partner mike yam who went on to do uh warhawk and uh, uh jet moto and the con Wait, and things like that game warhawk the for the PlayStation. no no he, he did the first he did the ps1 one PS1 version. I don't know that one, but okay. I, I, yeah, I yeah that was that was that was the one that was based. The new one was based right, off. Right. Okay. In terms of the franchise. So, but anyway, so we were like, hey, let's pitch Disney. And so, even though it, it was the Disney property, and we had to have everything approved by those guys, uh, it was absolutely, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, a Sony published design game along with Traveler's Tales were the key programmers and, and two of the key designers. And those guys obviously went on to, to, to do all the Lego games and all that right. stuff. So, so, yeah. So that was when, uh, when Sony was still in works with Nintendo before they split up. With yeah. Other... They, okay. they were called Sony image soft. We, that, that company was, was pretty much founded in order to make, or they evolved to become a company to, to make games based on Sony movies. There was an executive at the time who ran the whole thing of Sony. I think his name was Mickey Shuloff. And he was like, he was the guy that really, you know, brought the word synergy into sort of the Hollywood lexicon and was like, let's make our, you know, we can make games and movies and music and it's all the same thing. And we can, you know, and it never really worked. So we were making games that were a terrible based on very forgettable movies at best. I mean, we had a last action hero game. We had a cliffhanger game. We had a drag, although the Dracula movie is pretty fucking good, but the Dracula <laughs> game was terrible. Um, we did sewer shark, a bunch of Sega CD games and stuff yeah. like that. So, you know, there, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And from then on, you moved on to PlayStation, and because I mean, you're mostly known for God of War, but Twisted Metal is also pretty huge. Like you, you were one of the lead yeah, designers. Don't, like you, yeah, don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't worry, Sam. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Let's get in the hang binder, guys. I'm gonna. Let me just see if I can you hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'll tell you now. It may not be worth much. We just raised some money the other day for um, 
uh, for India by selling a bunch of old design documents uh, that were sort of yeah, you know, the, historic. Yeah, the God of War notes and the Twisted Metal. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So I, I have original Mickey Mania. Let me make sure I have original ones and not copies so cool. that I will give to anybody in your chat that donates 50 bucks uh, That's to, so the, cool. to the cost. But the thing is, I'm only going to do it once because I'm not giving away all these. No, let, me make sure I have, I understand. <laughs> let me make sure I have an a, a original because I don't want to give you, I mean, I'll give you a copy, but it, yeah. And, tr and trust me, the copy will be worth as much because there is no original anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's see. Let me see what I've got. Let's let me open up my oh. chat. Okay. <laughs> Someone says, hey, yo, where's my wallet? <laughs> They're getting their wallets out, man. <laughs> so this is, um, you'll, you'll have it with the whole punches. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, I'll, I'll write it. I'll write a little page explaining what it is and stuff. But this was the first design for the boss that ended up being Pete. And this is kind of how we did it. So, okay. uh, and there's no, no other one exists in the world uh -huh. uh, in the sense that this is, you know, there's no original copy. I, I drew it. And then I Xeroxed it, and this was the design, and that I probably so just cool. threw away the originals. But if anybody wants it, and they give the first person to give fifty bucks, I'll uh, I'll send it to well, uh, I'll send it to uh, uh, to them this week. You heard, guys. I mean, if you want to own like a original Mickey Mania note, you know, like you're right, you goddamn right, it. yeah, you goddamn right. Come on now, come <laughs> That's on, now. awesome man. All right, what but do yeah. I think of Is Islam? Somebody's asking what I think of Islam. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know, man. I don't. I think all religions, frankly, are stupid. I think I'm with you we there. needed. I think we needed them as a as a society, as a species, for a very long time, and I think they've served their purpose. And I think, uh, you know, the more we learn about the world, do I think there might be, uh, uh, you know, something out there that put us here? Whether that's aliens, whether it's a computer program, or we're in a simulation? Yeah, maybe me. Who the fuck knows? But the idea of believing. Uh, the Torah, the Quran, the Old Testament, the New Testament. I mean, it's 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 very it's silly. It's just antiquated. It's very silly. Honestly, yeah. dude, um, can, I mean, I can also I, I love talking religion and all that. Like, I'm not a Christian anymore, but I still like hearing debates about Christianity. I was listening sure. to one about uh, uh, abortion and uh, you know the Christian view. I'm like, I'm just gonna listen to this. I don't, I don't agree with the guy, but I I like the discussion. So, dude, if you ever want to have me over on your channel, just discuss. Always, it. I I, yeah. I I love I love debating and discussing, and I like debating and discussing the things that most people. Because I mean that's where the meat on the bone is, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's what that's that's you know it's like let's only discuss things that are non offensive to us. Why? I are, uh, not... do you like the TV show Friends? <laughs> I do. I like it too. Happy. I got what? you. I got you. You know, man. fuck that. Anyway. But yeah, like as I was asking you, like after uh, you worked on the Mickey Mania, you moved on to uh, Twisted Metal. Is that right? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, there was some stuff in between that never shipped, but yeah, Twisted Metal. That's cool. That's cool. And yeah. how, which one did you like working more on? Like Twisted Metal or God of, or God of War? <laughs> That's kind of hard uh, asking a parent to uh, choose their kid, I guess. No, no, no. Asking me which game I like more is the, is the choose the kid question. Like, I can't answer that. I right, love okay. them all. The ones that have been failures and hits, I love the same. I put the same level of energy as did the team into them. Right, right. Uh, it, it, but, but the work, um, uh, the, the work, you know, looking back at it now, I, I will tell you, I, I always enjoyed having the work done, right? I loved the result of the work. I loved watching people play our games at E3 or in play test or, you know, going into target and watching people play the twisted metal one, uh, demo on the kiosk for PlayStation, um, and, and laughing when they, when I wanted them to laugh and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I love that, you yeah. know, and I loved having the initial idea or hearing a great idea from the team. And there were parts of the work that I loved, just adored, mm -hmm. but th the day to day work of all of the games, I really never loved that much. And I've only had, you know, I never really did anything else. I worked in a movie theater in high school for a little bit, which I loved. Yeah. Uh, I worked at the USC cinema school uh, for a couple years, uh, which I loved. Um, and then I worked in games and games is very hard. 
Um, it is very, uh, 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 you know, it's very rewarding when it works and people love it. But the day to day for me was never joyful. And it wasn't until I started doing a lot more streaming and video making and things like that, that I was like, Oh, every day I get up and I'm having so much fun. And I'm That's like, right. I did, I never felt that way making video games except certain moments. Right. Oh, so yeah. when you say, when you say, which did I enjoy more? Um, they were all had moments of sheer, joy and then they had moments of um a lot more moments of like oh this is really fucking hard yeah, so I, mean, I can tell that you're having fun i I, was, I i saw that video of you just reacting to something but you reacted through silly putty like you would put silly putty i think on your face and uh that was uh that was uh unicorn magic sure uh, okay it was <laughs> no no it, it was literally unicorn magic yogurt okay that was a new yogurt in the grocery store that is supposedly made of unicorn magic okay and i bought it because it looked great and it tasted like cotton candy and yes i was putting every time i saw something in the trailer for um forget which movie it was it might have been godzilla versus kong yeah, yeah uh i would put more and more of that yogurt uh on my face and by the time the trailer was over it was covered in in the yogurt because what a great uh what what a great trailer and what a good movie what a fun movie it was pretty good yeah um So this is a question that I've been I wanted to ask you because uh, you're the guy who came up with the concept of God of War, right? So I wanted uh -huh. to ask you, what makes that series God of War? What's the identity of God of War? Like as opposed to Devil May Cry or I don't know Zelda game. Like what is what is the the identity of God of War? I would just say, what makes it God of War? Well, I mean it's kind of changed at this point. You'd have to ask Corey now what the current identity is. The original identity was. Uh, You know, I mean, the, the 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 very beginning of it was I wanted to do a game that made it feel like you were going on an adventure, and I wanted to do it in Greek mythology. Um, and a, a, very quickly, we realized um, uh, very very quickly we we realized that um, you know a, a typical sword and sandals, skirt wearing, you know, traditional Hollywood Greek soldier was not going to sort of be an aspirational figure that the at the time vast majority of gamers were like you know 12 to 40 year old boys and men and they're like that we need something that feels more manly and something that feels more masculine yeah and from that we were like oh let's let's really dive into wolverine and hulk and this kind of anti-hero thing and so you know within a month it was like i wanted it to be a blend of uh this wonderful greek mythology action adventure that i loved but mixed with this more adult sensibility uh in fact you know what maybe that's what i'll give your uh if, 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 if you know what we can say i'll keep mickey many on the table but i can send you guys um a copy i'll tell you what for the first 25 dollars no no fuck it for the first if it's 50 dollars if it's got to make it higher man like just put it okay a hundred dollars This is the first design document ever written for God of War. It's not the original, it's copies. There's about 20 of these out there in the world. But if you want one, I'll take it down to the Kinkos. I'll copy it. I'll bind it for you. I'll send it to you in the mail. Uh, but the original thing was, what if Paul Verhoeven directed Clash of the Titans? So that was um, uh, sort of, you can kind of see it. And this was the whole document of, you know, it was like 25, 30 pages like of sort of my... Uh, well, it was after, after you know, we were looking at three different games at the time. We were looking at something called, um, you know, what I called Greek mythology game, which became Dark Odyssey, which became God yeah, of War. Yeah. Um, and then we were looking at something I was calling Dead Man, um, which was uh, sort of an op not open world, but, but large environment, first person horror game. Uh, and then we were looking at something that was going to be more inspired by like, uh, the anime Lupin the third, uh, from studio Ghibli, but all, excuse me, all of them, um, would have been, uh, you know, built around that initial, uh, desire, uh, to, uh, send players on something that felt like a real adventure. And then it was just about what the theme was. So, but the essence of God of war, when I was working on it was animalistic raw, um, just, you know, let your animal side come out while going on this really fantastic, uh, 
you know, adult heavy metal magazine inspired uh, adventure. Yeah. I, I, you're obviously younger than I am. When I was a kid, there was a movie called Heavy Metal and it was uh, based on the heavy metal magazine, which is still published today a couple times a year. And it was very, um, you know, it's very erotic and sexy, but also geeky. So there's right. a lot of, you know, swords and sorcery and horror and cool. science fiction mixed with like really overt uh, sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And I loved, I loved that. And I never grew out of that. And I still love it to this day. And so to me, that really was what I wanted God of War to be about. So somebody was asking me, I did an interview last night with a magazine in Poland, actually. And um, they were asking me about, you know, what would I change or what would I do for God of War 2018? And I said, you know, I don't think Sony would uh, publish God of War 2018, my version. Because, because oh, okay, I think, okay. oh, hold on. because, yeah, I'm going to make it into a question. How would you make God of War 2018? That way I can just skip to it. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So, um, oh, so you get the credit for it. I understand. Of course. Yeah, of okay, course. Fair, fair, fair <laughs> enough. Um, but, um, you know, I, I loved God of War 2018. I thought it yeah. was fantastic. I think it was the right business move. I think it was a, just a brilliant idea to evolve the character of Kratos and the game Kratos, not just at a story level, but there was this kind of meta awareness of where God of War fit into the zeitgeist of gaming. And the fact that the game's story and character arc and all of that actually mirrored that, I thought was just incredibly smart and made for an incredibly powerful sort of foundation to build that game off of. I loved it. Better written than anything I could ever write. I yeah. mean, it was a really good don't say yeah like of course no, I, I agree yeah um, i would agree with you yeah, no, no no i agree it's better than anything you could write jeffy right um, oh, no, I didn't. so <laughs> that's exactly what you said fucker um so so uh but anyway uh so point being though is uh but yeah i was i was just like um i loved it you know and then but 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 so the thing you have to understand is for me um god of war the first three, certainly the first two, certainly the first one, because I had the most involvement in the yeah, very first one. Um, you know, today, even if you would have, fuck you, Zetox, even if you would have um, uh, given me all the money and all the, 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 the next-gen toys that Sony Santa Monica worked with in 2018, um, it, Sony would have probably said no, because I'm still, like, the, the publishers... The, First party AAA used to be in my wheelhouse. Twisted Metal uh, is, it's not schlock, but it's B-movie, um, rough around the edges. The top, um, yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of like matinee movies or sort of exploitation films. Sure. Um, not in terms of exploiting humans like workers, but like the 70s kind of grindhouse movies and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but that's just kind of what they call the genre. Um, the uh, God of War... Uh, was a you know uh, both of them have subtext but god of war um was similarly you know it was sexy there was a lot of nudity there was a lot of blood and guts and violence and it, and it reveled in that it bathed in that it loved that about itself yeah. and i haven't you know i don't even like the term grown out of it because i don't think there's anything to grow out of i can go watch you know super artistic movies and plays and i can have deep philosophical conversations but i also still think there's just as much nobility in you know paying attention to and and and, and, and having uh you know a, a a connection with that part of you that never grows out of being a 14 year old kid who thinks that shit's cool. Yeah. And so for me, I think my God of war 2018 is a long answer, but I think a company like devolver or, uh, uh, five Oh five or one of these kind of, you know, or movie games who I just teamed up with to do some stuff. I think, I think a company like that connects more with my sensibilities these days. Whereas in the late nineties and early two thousands, my sensibilities were. Oh, you're lagging a bit. Oh, I, I don't think you're lagging. I can hear you great. Can you hear? You're actually quite. But I don't think I that as much uh, anymore, which I'm totally fine with because I. Yeah. Uh, Matt, can you hear me? Ed, you're cutting in and Are out. Are we off the air? Are we still there? Okay, you're good now. You're good now. You're good now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I just don't. I don't feel that. Um. My sensibilities. If you look at like what Neil Druckmann's doing, what Corey's doing, what the guys at Gorilla are doing, they're, they're amazing titles. 
but I, I'm not looking to sort of plant a flag and make a statement about humanity. And I don't need to be, I don't want to make an artistic. I mean, I, I, anything you make that's creative is artistic. It says something about you in the world, yeah. but I'm not looking to sort of be, I, I don't, I don't want to make stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I enjoy consuming stuff like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think my God Award 2018 would be sexy and violent, and you know have, it would still it would still have sex mini games. Oh sure, sure. <laughs> um, it, it, it it would um uh you know it would it would I'd like to say it would be better written. It would it would still have you know uh, even more emotional heft to it. Sure. Um, and it it could even potentially be um you know about something as meaningful as like a father and a son. Yeah. But I would still go yeah okay, but we're still gonna have sexy time. You know, we're still going to be, we're still going to be uh, bloody as shit. We're still yeah. going to revel yeah. in that world that I still love uh, so much. So that's, that's fair. Okay. So, um, Atreus would just, what, hide behind the boulder or something while Kratos goes uh, crazy on a town lady or something? No, he would probably, his son would probably be worse than he is. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he'd probably be like a little fucking wolf that's about to lose his shit, and Kratos is like, oh my god, what have I created? I don't know. I haven't really written it, um, but you know, yeah, okay. I would say I would say that, that, that I, I wouldn't, to me, that is what God of War is, right? Okay. I mean, that's, you know, but it doesn't mean the new one isn't awesome, and it's just as much God of War, and like I said, I think what's brilliant about it is is it evolves. It's a new take on it, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Amon in the chat says Kratos would bang Freya, Freya, whatever her Freya. name is. Yeah, he, he would. <laughs> yeah. He'd take her behind the woodshed and say, boy, go over there and chase a rabbit. But daddy, I don't want go chase the rabbit, boy. And then he would take Freya behind the woodshed and he'd say, use your powers, witch. Let us have the sexy time. And they would fuck like crazy. And then when Corey's an old man and I'm a real old man, some designer in the bowels of Sony would say, oh, what if we uh, <clears throat> what if we made a game about, remember God of War? And it's the babies that came from God of War, from Kratos fucking that witch that lived in the turtle. Yeah, sure, let's do it. And people, then we're off to the races again. People on my channel actually ask me that a lot in regards to Aphrodite. Like, do you think that, that he had sons with Aphrodite and maybe we'll see them? I'm like, I don't know, because Aphrodite, obviously she's canon, but... I don't know if they're they'll go with down that route like oh she had a, he had a kid with Aphrodite and then uh, they'll make a game about him. I, I really don't think that'll happen. Do you think that's actually I, I possible? Think it, I think it. Well, I mean it's a video game. It's of course it's possible, but I, I I've never um I've never heard any um communications about God of War going back to uh, Greek mythology. So I mean it's it's possible, but yeah. I you know it's as possible as. Uh, you know, a lot of other story ideas, but that's never been something that's been floated that I'm aware of as sort of, hey, we really should tell that story. There were threads that were left all throughout God of War one and two, and I think three. Oh, you got to that are that that yeah. are more, well. I mean, you know, we talked. You know, you saw the Titan in the desert with the secret ending. I was going to ask. We were that, yeah. <laughs> we were all we were always going to go back and make like a game based on that. There was, um, you know, the brother eventually did get uh, utilized in one of the PSP or Vita games. Uh, that was sent out to the the woods to die. Um, so you know there were definitely um, uh, story points that that I had and that Corey had, and I think to some extent Stig had said, you know, let's let's lay these down, and if we're fortunate enough, we can get to go back and and talk about them and make games about them. But nothing like the Aphrodite thing. That was never like, oh, we should really do that. We had other agendas and ideas so so you know, now that you brought it up because i was going to ask you that much much later but so you think a modern god of war game would work because uh, you set up the the chronos uh cutscene at the end where you saw him in yep. modern times and the helicopters were just flying to it did you have a story mapped out like an idea a seed it, yeah i mean it wasn't it wasn't going to be kratos i mean we, we had you know we had a very long plan that kratos would eventually become the grim reaper and the new gods would rise up christianity uh islam judaism and he would have you know killed himself with the blades of chaos after he destroyed all the old gods uh but he was resurrected and they turned the 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 uh blades of chaos into the grim reaper scythe and since then he's kind of been walking the earth as the grim reaper sort of giving people death right okay. and so that was sort of his branch 
But then the, the thing in the desert was almost more like it was going to be like a, a spinoff. It was going to take place in the God of War universe, but it was going to be more almost like a, 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 a shooter military kind of thing. Uh, sort of almost like Prometheus or something where they find this this thing in the desert and they have to go inside it. So they and there's this whole crate. temple and uh, yeah, they okay. and it would be and it would just be, you know, obviously decayed and destroyed and full of, you know, innards and all this shit. Okay. And it would be like a horror shooter military thing. But it would have it would have been, you know, born in the it'd be like a, you know, not a shared universe, although it would be. We weren't thinking in those terms back then, but it would have been like a it would have been like a spinoff. So it was right. never going to have crate. It would never have Kratos or anything like that. So would it have had powers? I guess like with the protagonist, whoever it was, it was just. A, I, a, I I I am sure that's where it would have gone, but we never thought. I, I mean, I literally was like, I need bonus material. Hey, what about this idea? Right. And okay. an art an artist drew it, and uh, I wrote some dialogue for it, and we had uh, Linda Hunt narrate it, and boom, there was our bonus material for that. Whatever I think it was beating the game on hard or something. Yeah. Um. So a lot of those weren't all that thought out. They were thought out enough for me to go, that's cool. Boom, that's in. And I kind of figured it would be like, okay, if if the game's a hit and people like that, we'll tell that story. I wasn't worried that we wouldn't be able to write something cool. But, you know, it was never – it wasn't like we had this fleshed out Bible. Right. Uh, okay. The only thing we, – we did have God of War 2 and 3 kind of fleshed out in terms of where it was going. But, you know – then Corey came in and, and he's kind of stuck roughly to it, but then Stig came in and he did his own thing and it kind of just was like, it kind of became yeah, what I, it was. I remember in God of War 1, you actually saw an image on the floor that said that uh, a mortal would fight Zeus eventually. So that's obviously a hint to God of War 2 when Kratos would uh, yeah. rebel against Zeus and all that. Yeah, but I feel like yeah, gonna, all that wasn't there. I feel like you're going to yeah. get upset because I had a lot of questions about the, those bonus materials because my channel obsesses about that. Like we, I've done videos about that. Mm -hmm. So the Demos thing, the brother, you yeah. didn't really had a, a big story planned out. It was just a, that's an idea you had. A new, you know, Mark Anderson, who is one of the art directors on the game, uh, educated me to this concept. And, and it's since, I don't know if it's been debunked, but it, it's since been called into question uh, if that's actually accurate. But the way he had pitched to me that he had heard on a documentary uh, was that, um, uh, uh, that in Sparta, the 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 soldiers or whatever would round up the kids that were strong yeah. and say, you're going to become a warrior. And the kids that were weak or not athletic enough, they would take them out to the woods to be just let the woods have them. Right. And I don't now. And, and I've said that recently to someone and somebody kind of said, well, that's not actually what happened, whatever. But that was kind of the myth, whether it was how true it is, who knows? I don't know. But we were building on uh, that idea, which I thought was an incredibly compelling idea. Uh, which would help us to some extent figure out where Kratos' anger came from because, you know, he was very close to his brother. Um, and then he thought his brother died and he's just filled with guilt even from the very beginning of his life when he was a little boy. And uh, th the brother, we were like, oh, let's have him die and go to hell and become the Lord of hell and all this shit. And I honestly don't even remember what they did with it. It was a, it was one of the PS Vita games, the PSP games. Ghost of Sparta, yeah. They, they brought back Timo, so the brother. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I play, I played, I only played one of the PSP games. Uh, I, or the V, I forget which one I played. They're all kind of mixed together for me, but I will be playing all of them on my channel uh, cool. over the next couple of whatever months year. I'll be there, man. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, because some of them are brand new and some of them are uh, nice to revisit the old days. Yeah. But um, yeah, there, there wasn't, at least when I was there and by the time I left, there wasn't much thought to other than like, okay, we know the brother's there. We know Zeus is the father. We know that's there. We know the alien in the temple is there. We know that we're hinting towards the wise men heading towards the star. All of this is in God of War 1. Um, and so all of those seeds were planted, but beyond the wise men, which was fleshed out enough that we had a, a, a skeleton structure of a story, everything else was just kind of like almost like a kernel of an idea that was enough to give to an artist to make pretty pictures. And then we were like, okay, if any of those ideas work, um, uh, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out because I mean, remember we had just come off God of war one, which 
we started production on that game in Pandora's Temple. We didn't have a story. We didn't have a character. We were six, seven, eight months into production before we even knew what the story was. And we were probably a year and a half into production before we figured out who Kratos was. Right. I mean, so this, that whole game was made. Uh, it was actually quite beautiful. If you look back at it at a uh, 30,000 foot view, I know for Shannon and, and Yumi and Whitney Wade and all the producers, uh, 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 for Steve, it was not a beautiful process to manage, but it was so neat to see how, uh, you know, something Charlie Wynn would do the, the creative director on the art side, just as a mis not a mistake, but I, I, I looked at some of his art before it was finished like and that gave skin, way yeah. to a whole story of the skin and yeah. looking at Shinobi with Joe Wright, one of the designers got that gave way to the blades of chaos and, um, looking at the design from Scott Cito of Pandora's Temple and all these reliefs on the wall, it's like, well, we need to put something there. Let's write some stories. That gave way to these seeds of what future God of War stories would be about. So it, it was never like, you know, here's a 600-page Bible of what God of War is. Let's go to work, fellas. It right. was, we have to make something. We have to ship on this date, although that moved a number of times. Um, and let's just let's come to work every day and put people to work and try our best to know what we're doing. And every day we added and knew a little bit more about what the story was. And in that it allowed us to uh, really have this very fluid organic process where every discipline design, art, animation, programming, writing, they all fed off each other. And it was, a, it ended up making something I think that was a very, uh, not realistic world, but it was, it, it, it felt authentic Grounded. for what it, yeah, yeah. it felt, yeah, it, it felt authentic for what it was. And none of that was conscious. I'm glad it worked, mm -hmm. but it, a lot of it was just the fact that, um, we, we were making it up as we went kind of. That's, that's good to know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. The last one, I, I guess this is not a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, but there were other bonus materials. One of them was you calling uh, Kratos and he would kill you on the phone. Yes. <laughs> But there was another one that's very mysterious, and I'm sure you didn't have a story planned out. As, uh, the, the let, one with let me, Aaron, let me, so. let me, yeah, let me just get to this guy in the chat. Uh, sure. Xavier's Gamer, calm the fuck down, bitch. Listen, I could call Corey Barlog right now and ask him when the new God of War is coming out. Do it. Newsflash, I know when the new God of War is coming out, but guess what? I'm not going to tell you. I, I, I mean, why would I do that? Let me why just erase that question that? from uh, the questions I have here. Okay, let me just let me just erase it. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I'm just fucking with him. Yeah, but yeah. um, yeah. All right. So sorry. What were you asking about the uh, the 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 other uh, phone call? Yeah, the other phone call is uh, Kratos walking someone through Olympus and showing him the soul of Ares inside a chamber. I don't know if you remember yeah. that. I do, I do. What was the idea behind that? Uh, behind it? if again, I'm sure. If I remember, go on. if I remember correctly, it was. I don't know. Uh, maybe he was walking you, the caller. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, know it was the player. Yeah, because yeah, you've succeeded. You've completed right. God of War in the hard, hardest difficulty, and then yeah. So right. Sorry. So I'm gonna get yeah, and so I think it was. I needed something cool to pay off for someone doing that, and I think it was. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was like a visualization of a soul that was trapped inside of a glass or some kind of magical glass uh, cage that was banging up against the glass, leaving blood streaks on it, trying to get out. And, and that was, if, if I were remembering the call correctly, if that was the story, right? Is that, is that what it was? Yeah. He, he walks you, the player through the room and let me show you the secrets of Olympus. And then he opens the door and then Ares is, and he's trying to escape as you say. Yeah. Like, the, right. But it wasn't Ares. It was like his soul. It was, the, the it, soul it wasn't of, like the soul of Ares. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, um, you know, I don't remember much beyond that. If it was like, okay, I want to do something with this or, I probably just liked the fact that there would be this great trophy room in Olympus, God of War's trophy room, and you would be able, you know, if nothing else, if we were to build that in a future game, you could walk past all these relics that you would recognize from your adventures, and one of them would be the actual soul That's of Ares. And maybe even, you know, now that I'm just talking out loud and thinking about it, maybe there would have been like 20 of those. So it almost shows that eventually Kratos is going to be in one of those 
because that's sort of what happens. It's almost like Doctor Who. There's always going to be someone else that rises up to kill the God of War and take over. And right, these okay. souls kind of end up in these jars in, in the trophy room. So, so Ares and I'm the first one, okay. And then Kratos. Yeah, well, no, no, no. I mean, maybe that would be the idea. If we made God of War 2 or God of War 3 and we had the trophy room, maybe you would have Ares and then like four more. And you're like, what the fuck are those other four? And eventually we start to go, oh, well, see, the God of War has been around, you know, for a much longer time than you think, you know. Right. And, and, you know, so, but, I mean, I'm. these were all little seeds that were not. That sounds really cool. I'll be honest. Yeah, it does. I, I would I have agree, loved I agree. to visit that, that room in Olympus. I mean, in a game. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but that was sort of the uh, that was sort of the idea. God of War three kind of brought it back. Similarly, they brought the body of Ares and they uh, put it under ice. You could actually under, see it. Yeah. 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 So it's it's a similar idea. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Thank you so much for answering that. I, I've always wondered about like what's up with the the, the the soul of Ares and all that. Now, those questions were going to be kind of by at the last. So I'm going to have to go back. I guess. Uh, Hang on, though. Ricardo Estevez in the chat says, what's Kratos' full name? We actually knew Kratos' full name. It's Kratos Goldberg of the Cincinnati Goldbergs. All right, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so yep. in all 2010, right. uh, they wrote, they did the no novelization of God War 1. Did they ever contact you for the story of that? They didn't. Okay. No, no, no. Once I was out of Sony uh, and no longer a Sony employee, right? Okay. Um, it, you know, it really wasn't... You know, there, you know, there were, there was a lot of, there was a lot of good people that were left behind, like Corey, like Stig, uh, like Alex Stein. There was a bunch of people who were, you know, Shannon. Um, it, it wasn't not, not to say that I don't think it wouldn't have been welcomed, but I don't, you know, end of the day, there's, a, there is a correct sense that, you know, you only need so many cooks in the kitchen. And even though I was the original cook, um, and they always knew, and I had some conversations with Stig at the very beginning and whatnot, uh, just like on the other Twisted Metals I didn't work on. I had some conversations with the team, but it, it's, it's, it's not like they were looking for my feedback, not, not as an insult, but because they're like, well, we want to do our version now. Right, right. Okay. You know, and, and, and I get that. I think that's wonderful. I think that's that, that you, you know, anybody who's sitting in the captain's chair or the group of captain's chairs of a creative project, they want to be while control, it's important. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's why you're sitting there. It's important if, if you want to, hey, let's go to lunch with the, uh, if, if somebody said, hey, Jaffe, you, you get to make a Raiders of the Lost Ark video game or an Indiana Jones video game, which is one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would love to go to lunch with Steven Spielberg and George Lucas for a million reasons and say, <laughs> talk to me about, you know, the essence and all that. But I don't want, I wouldn't be interested in doing it if every day I had to call Spielberg and say, is this okay? I'm like, right. why would I do that? I'd just make my own fucking thing at that point. So, right, right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I felt, I never felt uh, with God of War novelization, uh, movies, whatever, although I was involved with the movie a little bit that they were making back when I was still at Sony. Never happened, of course, but thank God. Um, why thank but, God? Uh, uh, well, because it started off really good. It started off with the producers who made, who had just made Batman Begins. Um, and they were a great, and they're still, they still have the rights to it. They're a great company. Um, and they paid a million dollars to a guy to uh, write the script, uh, an Academy Award nominee. Wasn't a great script. No, but it was a really good first draft. Like you could definitely look at it and go, okay, this, this could, we could, could build something here. You can't, you know, you can't expand upon what the, the script would have been. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it was the God of War story, but you know, they, I want to say the Oracle was was made to be more of a side, not a sidekick, but a companion. So I guess because in the writer wasn't wrong. He's like in a game, it's fine to have Kratos go traipsing around by himself, but I need somebody to have dialogue with Kratos so we can have words. Okay. Um, and so he had invented or he had expanded the role of the Oracle uh, to uh, make her more uh, to make her more. Um, God damn it. Uh, you know, a, a companion. Yeah. Right? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and so, you know, so, but it was still, they were going through the sewers of Athens and they were trying to get Pandora's box and, but it, it you know, and, 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 and Kratos was a little warmer than he was in the games, but it was still roughly the story. There was the one thing he did that I just loved uh, that, that I wanted to ultimately, uh, do in a game if i ever made another god of war and if not i hope somebody does it was um the uh the uh pandora's temple his idea was 
that it was Pandora's temple, but the architect, who's a guy named Pallas Verdes the third, yeah. um, was still alive. And as long as he, even though his sons died and stuff, as long as he kept designing the art, the temple, he would survive. And so what was happening was he was kind of sitting somewhere in some chamber and he was realizing that Kratos was coming in to steal Pandora's box, which would defeat the whole reason to have the temple. And so he didn't want Kratos to succeed. So as he literally was designing on his magic parchment, parchment with his magic quill, Pandora's temple was in real time changing. So he was almost like being a dungeon master in a D and D game right. that was kind of creating traps and monsters and scenarios to stop Kratos from getting to Pandora's box. And it was like this living uh, temple of doom, basically moving around and shifting in real time uh, to stop Kratos and the Oracle. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, but ultimately thank God it didn't get made, not because of the script. Uh -huh. And I remember at one point after the script was done, they hired an artist. This was after uh, Casino Royale was really big. And they said, let's redo the God of War cover, but let's use Daniel Craig, uh, who's obviously James Bond. Let's use his face and all that stuff. And they sent it to him over the weekend and he said no. But they were like, if they would have had Daniel Craig, it would have probably been, been a go movie. And, if it, you know, it, and it got tossed around to different people and different directors. And finally, it ended up with Brett Ratner, who is... Um, He's not a very, in my opinion, it's subjective, but he's not a very good director. He's the guy who made, uh, I want to say he did that, uh, the Rush Hour series with... Uh, uh, oh, Chris Rock? Was that? No, Chris, uh, no, Jackie no, no. Chan Jack, and, uh, Jackie the, Chan and, and uh, uh, the guy in The Fifth Element with the high voice, uh, whatever his name is. Oh, God. Um, he did that. Yeah. He did some other just kind of crappy movies that were, you know, functional. Chris Tucker, right, Nick? Uh, perfunctory things. Okay. And... You know, and, and and it was it was it's that point where it's just kind of like just don't make the movie, but you know that's their business in Hollywood. It's like look, a, a greenlit movie is better than not having any work at all. And maybe we're not going to get an Oscar winner out of this, but um, fuck it, we're going to get a green light. We'll all get paid really well, and we can go on to the next thing. And so, you know, I think I was gone from Sony by that point, but there wasn't a lot of pushback. And I was like, really? All right, I get whatever. I don't care. Um, and then ultimately he dropped out, but he, it was interesting because he went off to make a movie with uh, Dwayne Johnson, the rock, which was Hercules. Oh, and God. he directed, okay. and, and there were a number of things uh, in Hercules that clearly were God of war from his movie that he's just like, I'm going to use those in Hercules. Really? So okay, I wow. want to say, I want to say there was a thing where, you know, Hercules was like pushing open the mouth of a giant snake or serpent or something, or I don't like the Hydra battle or some monster. Yeah, yeah. There might've even have been a thing where he slid down the, uh, the, the, the stomach of the thing and slid him open, like in the cut scene and you know, monsters and stuff. But I mean, whatever, you know, it did, it wasn't like I was bothered by it, but I'm, I was just like, okay, gl I'm glad Ratner got that out of the system. So, so it's, I'm it's sure the identity yeah. of the God of War movie remained in the Hercules one because he he's the one who directed. That's that's really interesting. I, I didn't I didn't see it. I only saw clips of it where people were like, "Hey, this is that God of War guy." I'm like, "Oh yeah, that does look like God of War," but I right. I don't know enough about it to plant a flag and say that's exactly what happened. Right. Um. But and you know I'm sure they will do something with it now that they have PlayStation Productions and The Last of Us is is gonna is, is getting made. I my understanding is that is the most expensive pilot episode hbo uh has ever shot in their existence um and obviously twisted metal may or may not get made i mean we hope it will it's still yeah. moving forward but you know that shit goes you never know but there's clearly a bigger effort now and more of a focus to expand the intellectual property out from the games of the things so i know they have the uncharted uh, movie coming out in, in a few months right the uncharted one uncharted movie yep yep that's right so i i would um i would not be surprised if we hear about a god of war netflix series or a god of war movie well, um but i i don't know anything but sony, it wouldn't surprise me sony did announce that they were not they confirmed that they were not working on a god of war movie or tv show at the moment it, what do you think about that <laughs> i i think anybody who listens to official words coming from companies and and takes them as they don't and, and i don't mean this disrespectfully they don't you know i lied about working on twisted metal Right. They, they're you're, you're not being played like they're disrespecting you. 
but they, they just have can't talk about it. yeah they can't talk about yeah it. they 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 have a they have a, a war map of this is you know when even when you would just make a game that never got a lot of traction you would meet with pr and pr would be like okay here's the plan on this date we reveal this on this date we we leak this out to one exclusive to ign because they're you know, they owe us coverage because we did this for them or whatever, and on and on and on and on. And so I guarantee you that war map extends not just to game, but the, all the games and all the movies and all of the brand. And in that, um, in the hardware, and when are we going to announce PSVR 2? And, oh, that's an E3 announcement. But, oh, shit, no, 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 that won't work at E3 because we need to announce this. Okay, so let's move that two months later. It's all very calculated. So if a reporter comes up to Sony and says, uh, is there a God of War television series in the works? And they say no comment. You know what is going to happen? Well, no comment. No, they, no comment might as well be. Yes, yeah, there yeah, is, I but know, I can't yeah. talk about it. So it's better to just lie. Um, okay. Because if, 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 if Sony's job is not to answer your questions accurately, Sony's sure. job is to entertain you and provide you good value for your money. And some of that value is the surprise and delight of going, oh shit, I woke up today and they're making a fucking God of War movie. And they make sure that news drops maybe on a Friday. So right. it, it's on the front page of all the websites all weekend long because most websites don't update over the weekend, right? All of this shit is calculated for the most part. And so um, just my point is just because they're telling you there's not, I think it's moronic to assume yeah. there is not there are not active discussions about doing something with God of War outside of the gaming IP in a linear storytelling medium. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, found it, I found it really odd when I heard the news because God of War right now is one of Sony's biggest property right now. Like Horizon, it, sure, it, it's it's up. No, there. Horizon Horizon's second tier to God of War. You know, yeah. it, it's a it's a real question of whether I mean Spider Man's their biggest, but they don't really oh, yeah. own Spider Man, yeah, so. Yeah. You really have to look at Last of Us, God of War, maybe Uncharted, but those are those are really the three. I mean, Uncharted uh, was big crown, on the PlayStation Three. Uh, PS Four, they only had two games, I guess, Uncharted Four and Lost Legacy. They, yeah. yeah, nobody knows if there's going to be an Uncharted Five. I, I think there's rumors about that. Of course there will. Of course there will be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, w right? I mean, what did the last Uncharted sell? O almost twenty million, it was one maybe of the best more. Selling PlayStation Four games, yeah. Well, we're not going to make another one. I, mean, I, I love gamers. I am a gamer. I'm a gamer before I'm anything else. But sometimes gamers are so fucking stupid. <laughs> no offense, but it's yeah. like, it's like they're not going to make another uh, Nathan Drake game. Well, why? Well, because he retired. He promised whatever his wife's name, Elena. Oh, is that her name? Yeah, Elena. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's not going to do it anymore. It's like motherfucker. He's not real. He's a cash. <laughs> he's a cash cow for Sony. Trust me, it'll take a writer 20 minutes to figure out how to get him out of that promise with Elena. I won't go on any more adventures, Elena. Oh, shit. Elena's kidnapped, and the only way to save her is to go on an adventure? Just kill I her guess off. I'm going on an adventure. I mean, or kill her. Right. Kill I mean, her. it's just ridiculous. So, uh, you know, uh, drives me nuts when gamers are that fucking naive about this shit. It's yeah. like, oh, they're going to, you know, maybe they'll, you know, kill Kratos in the next God of War. Why? <laughs> Why the fuck would they kill Kratos? And if they do, they'll bring them back in the third one. Don't be a moron. I mean, they, I mean that, they that's go literally like... like they go ahead, always, go ahead. They can always go with the Zelda route, like add different timelines, different Kratoses, I guess. There's uh, there's a million things they could do. It, it's like watching the first Godzilla. Like, you, you could be forgiven if you saw Godzilla in, what was it, the 50s or the early 60s from Toho Studios yeah. and said, oh, he died at the end. I guess he's done. <laughs> Godzilla's not dead, you moron. What are you talking about? It's just... It's ridiculous. It's yeah, ridiculous. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, even though they're work smart, they're still, like you said, they're a business. Like they, they would want to sell more they're, copies. Like, uh, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, anyway, I asked you about the the novel because there's some weird stuff in the novel, the novelization of the game, and you kind of yeah. touched upon it. I was kind of surprised when you said the the architect was going to be in the movie because that scene actually is found within the novel. And he's like in this weird casket, and he's got poison. I'm gonna have to, I would have to read it again. But that okay. scene actually made it into the novel, and I was I really, was, oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's very similar. Uh, yeah, I know. I never, I never read the novel, but that's great. They got that. That's so you never read it. Okay. My... No, 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 no. Okay, it was because I was I was gonna ask that because uh, the next question is who made the Blades of Chaos? Because according to the novel, Hephaestus made the Blades of Chaos. I guess uh, with an order from an order of uh, Ares. But in your, since you created God of War One, who yeah. you just think it was Ares? All, you always uh... 
all I knew was the blades. Of, and I don't mean this like I'm being dismissive of it. Um, I'm just saying that all, all I knew was what I needed to know. And what I needed to know was there was a line in God of War that said something like the blades of chaos were forged in the fieriest or hottest pits of, of the river sticks. Hades. Yeah. yeah. And that was all I knew. And so I never thought about who made them. I think Hephaestus was introduced in God of War two three and it, okay. And then maybe it starts to make sense. Well, why would the guy who does all the weapons for the gods not make the blades of chaos? I totally get it. Yeah. But I never, I never spent any time um, thinking about it. I was just like, Oh, they, they, they forged them in the fires of the river sticks and Hades. And that's what I needed to know. Um, and if I would have sat down to think about it, I'm sure I could have come up with something. I probably would have maybe eventually arrived at that thread that said there have been multiple God of Wars, like multiple Doctor Who's, uh, same Doctor Who, but regenerated Doctor Who's. And those Blades of Chaos, um, you know, uh, it's kind of tropey at this point, but, you know, may maybe those Blades of Chaos go all the way back to, you know, they were they were forged in the Big Bang or something. I mean, who the fuck knows? Those things are almost like celestial uh, almost like the power stones in, in Marvel or right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marvel put out a, 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 about a couple of years ago, they put out a great mini series about, I forget what it was called, but it, it goes all the way back to like the dawn of man. And they still had a black Panther, a Dr. Strange, a Tony Stark. Like they had caveman versions of those almost like the world always needs those heroes. Yeah. And so even though the individuals will change um, and the way they become, those heroes will change there's almost something written in the fabric of the universe's DNA that says the world, the existence needs these eight people. And those eight people are kind of the pillars of Marvel. If, if I really were to think about it, I probably would have fashioned the God of war concept in the blades of chaos concept um, to be more of that kind of, this thing has been, this story has been Celestial going on much longer yeah. than, than what you would just see in Greek mythology. So but I, I don't know. Right, right. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. Um, uh, what's it I was going to say something else. Uh, so the blades. The thing is, I have to make sure I do a good job because people are expecting a lot of God of War tidbits, you know, like a lot of things. It's this channel. You, you, well, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm making a video. I was going to, I, I, it's for some reason I'm struggling to edit it because it's, it's, I've got it. I'm picking these uh, pieces from all over the internet and it's just, it's really, drudgery to make the video, sure. but the actual content I think is going to be really compelling for God of War fans, which is, I, I think it's going to be called something like, you know, 15 things, even the, the hard, most hardcore God of War fans don't know. Okay. And it's, it's basically 15 things, the most hard, you know, things that I'm not going to share with you right now. <laughs> um, but, but there are, there are still, there are still uh, things that, that hardcore fans would be like, Oh shit. I had no idea. That's where that came from. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy to answer whatever question you got. Yeah. Uh, wait, first of all, how long is that gonna be? Is that video gonna be like? How long are you thinking of making it? You know, ideally, it's gonna be about nine minutes. Right. Um, yeah. YouTube. But videos. if I'm, but if I'm feeling lazy and I just don't want to do any editing, I might just at this point look at the camera and just talk. <laughs> because I, because I, I mean because the people who care about the information in a lot of ways they can go off and find the clips on their own yeah um but and i'm and i'm busy and i want to do more live streams more often so you know how it is video editing takes a very long yeah. time it's it's not a it's not a quick thing and so um yeah my girlfriend is not in my case because i record the my script one day and I just take a break that day. I'm like, okay, I'm done for today. Because for one thing, right. English is my second language. So I mess up okay. a lot on the script. I'm like, I'm just out of energy to actually edit. So the next day I actually edit. And like you said, it's just, it's tedious. You have to look for footage and then just take it and just apply it properly. I, I, I Yeah, I usually love editing once I have all the footage on the timeline. And right. then it's fun. Then it's a great deal of fun. But there, when yeah. you've got a, when you've got a video where you have to acquire it, Mm -hmm. that's just like, oh, okay, let me do it. Then let me drag it over to OBS and copy it, make yeah. sure the sound is fine and put it in Premiere. Yeah. And it just, it, it, it takes hours. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, but I'll do it. It's, it, it it'll well, be a good video. Well, whatever you upload, I'm sure you're going to watch it. I might just react to it altogether. Uh, oh, cool. Great. One question. Okay. I just thought about this. I don't have it on my list, but this is something we talk about a lot on the channel and it's, it's the God of War universe. Like when yeah. you, wrote the story of the game and the end of the of the first game 
Kratos becomes the god of war, and he's the god of war throughout all ages. And we see images flashing of like the Civil War, the the Inquisition, uh, World War yeah. One. <laughs> so, in your idea of the God of War universe, there's only the Greek pantheon, and then there's Norse mythology, but in another realm completely, or is it shared, kind of like his, like it is now? Kratos just walked from Greece to Scandinavia. It, it, all I knew was that other gods existed besides the Greek gods, because that was sort of going to be what the sequels were about um, and about how Kratos ultimately found a way to destroy all the gods and killed them all. And he realized that, you know, until I take out all of them, I will never have peace and humanity will never have peace. Not that he cared about that, but he's like, these are a bunch of manipulative fucks and they're petty and fuck them. And I finally figured it out. So all I knew is I needed to bring in Norse and Egyptian and African and, uh, well, depending on what country in Africa, but a, a number of, uh, uh, although I guess Egypt, but I, I mean more like, uh, uh, there was one country we were looking at in Africa that was, was had a really rich, uh, mythology in terms of monsters that was like, that would be really cool. Really? Uh, but I forget the name of the country. Um, but, but th all I knew is those mythologies needed to exist. Um, and Kratos needed to be able to go over and kill them um, and, and fight them and engage with them. And so um, whether or not they were linked by magical portals or whether they were literally if Kratos was able to, 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 to you know, maybe that he, he had to somehow capture Pegasus and Pegasus would be the thing that could get him to these other, you know, we're, I, I have, we never thought about it. We just, we just knew they would be they, things would be um, okay. that would be, yeah, be part of it. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay. So, all right. That's cool. <laughs> now, uh, I kind of want to hear you rant for a little bit. Would you be okay if Atreus was gay? <laughs> I've heard you talk about this uh, before. <laughs> well, okay. So it started, that whole thing started um, with, uh, and in fact, I'm going to repost it because I think June is Pride Month. Um, oh, is it? Okay. And I, so, I don't really I, keep I, up with any of that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I believe it is. And And so I was like, Somebody posted a, a picture of Kratos um, with, I don't know if it was like gay pride or a rainbow, something kind of something showing like that, that yeah. Kratos was supporting gay rights and, and whatnot, uh, LGBT rights. And um, and I retweeted it and I said, and, and, and this was around the time that JK Rowling had come out and sort of said that when she wrote Dumbledore, yeah. uh, he, he was gay. Yeah. And all the fans were like, rah, rah, rah. you know, I, I was, I, I never, I mean, a, even if I was the biggest Harry Potter in the world, fan in the world, I, I either wouldn't care or go, cool, that's great. What do I care what, who the wizard's fucking? What makes no difference to me? Yeah. Um, and if he's having a good time, good for him. Um, but uh, so I was, I, I tweeted out that I always had written Kratos as bisexual. Um, and almost immediately I tweeted behind it. You can look at the timeline. Okay, I'm just kidding. I did this, even though I said I, won't, I wouldn't have a problem if he was bisexual or, or gay or, or whatever, um, I did it because I wanted to sort of see just the rampant the homophobia yeah. that would come out. And the reason I did the second tweet, and this was before I knew how to thread, I didn't understand the plus on Twitter that would link those together. Oh, I still don't. But it's <laughs> yeah. And, and so a lot of people were like, well, why didn't you link it? I'm like, I don't know what that means. Right. But anyway, it's still, if you go to the timeline, it's right under it where I was going, okay, I'm just fucking with you guys, but look, look at the reaction some of you are having. Shame on you, right? And so that was kind of the end of it for me. And then I did have a bunch of gay people reach out to me and say, yeah, but you're queer baiting. And I'm like, I've never heard that term. And queer at first baiting? I'm like, what are you, what? queer baiting? Well, and that's right. Okay. I, I, and I was like, well, I don't, what are you talking about? Um, I, and at first I thought they were overreacting. They said, no, look, you have to understand we in the gay community, we don't have a lot of heroes. We don't have a lot of representation. So when you said this great character that people love was a bisexual. Uh, okay. You would get we got excited. Over. Okay. I got you. Okay. And now you're taking that away and that's cruel. And I'm like, you know what? I'd never even thought about that. And I apologize. And I, I publicly apologize for that. So that was kind of the end of it. And it would pop up every now and then on Twitter as things do. So then this came up again recently after I had played God of war 2018 and I don't know what the impetus was for the discussion, but I basically said, somebody may have asked me, I don't know. Um, but uh, it, it was a question of would Atreus 
I don't know if I threw it out there as a possibility or they did and I was responding. I don't remember where it came from, but the, the gist of it was, you know, could Atreus grow up to be a gay guy? Mm -hmm. And all, I made a video that was like, I don't know, but sure. What do I care? I don't care who the kid's fucking when he's a, when he's of age. Yeah. One um, of the arguments people usually throw is that, okay, the, uh, Scandinavian people back then did not approve of such worldview. But my, my viewpoint on, you know, game design or game making, I guess, is that I'm sorry, I'm falling asleep. I'm, no, uh, I'm, no, I'm falling asleep I, I, because I'm, I'm going to let you go real our, soon. No, no, no. I'm not falling asleep because of that I'm falling asleep because are you telling me that we're actually giving credence to people who have arguments about the Scandinavian uh, no, 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 social I, social politics of the time no, no, in a video game where there are giant trolls <laughs> no, no, and there agree. are giant. It's not that you agree with it. I'm like, why don't you just wear a shirt? Not you. Why don't these guys or girls just wear a shirt that says I'm a homophobe? <laughs> I got it's you. like you can't. Don't tell me your issue is like. Well, I don't really mind if Atreus <laughs> is gay. It's that the social politics of the time <laughs> in the Scandinavian countries wouldn't have allowed for that. Now let me go fight this giant skyscraper-sized no. troll. I mean, come no, on. I was gonna make that. Just point, say you don't like gay folks. Just I say was, it. <laughs> I was gonna make that point because uh, games are uh, developed in um with the ideology of the day, right? So even in God of War 1, you did not make Kratos, uh, Kratos gay, and I don't no, know for, no. for what reasons, but, I, but I, even, well, it was I okay. never, well, hang on, let's just be clear. I never thought about him as anything, I never thought about his sexuality. I knew he liked women okay. a lot. Um, I knew he loved his wife. I knew he was uh, 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 a guy who, after his wife died, was, was having sex and drinking a lot to sort of numb his pain that yeah. much is written in the game yeah. um if somebody would have asked me does he all does he like women i would have said yeah of course he likes women but if they would have said does he like men too i'm like i've never thought about it i guess he could <laughs> but i don't really think about it what do i care i there mean have it guys know. credits might be gay you know who knows <laughs> every every character in any game sweet tooth might be i mean <laughs> They're pretend, I, I they, got and, and, and not only are they pretend, but I don't think I don't I I I I know a little bit more than you know about Kratos because I had to know more to work with the game team and yeah, the writers and be one of the writers. But it's not like I can tell you well now. This is what happened when he was sixteen and a half when he decided. I mean, I don't have this massive Bible of his life. He's not like a real guy and I'm God and I can open up his life book and go, well, let's see here. Did he ever <laughs> masturbate and think about the penis? I don't know. I mean, look, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Right. Okay. So you're a riot, man. <laughs> you, you are a really fun guy. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate that. But I mean, ultimately you have to ask yourself, what is with these people who give a fuck? No, I got you. I mean, I understand you. seriously, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, he's just, you're, you know, ugh, anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I guess the last question is, like, do you have any theories for God of War Ragnarok or God of War 5? Do you th what do you think is going to happen? As a writer yourself, like, what do you think should happen? From, from well, from look, I, don't, I, I know a little bit. I don't know a lot. Um, but I can tell you, I think they are going to... I don't mean they're going to have a problem. I don't think they're going to have a problem at all. I think they'll solve it swimmingly. But I think it's... It, you can only pull the rabbit that Corey pulled out of the rabbit hat or the magician's hat once of allowing the game to actually speak in becoming different and in growing and becoming a different thing, tying that directly into the narrative at a meta level and a story level like that. So much of the magic of the game. And yes, it was brilliantly made. It was really fun. The combat was great. Some of the puzzles were phenomenal. The art looked great, but a lot of the magic in the story was great. The performances yeah. were great. None of that's going away. That will probably only get amplified. We'll get better. But that magical thing about God of War 2018 was also because it was, watching this evolution from what we knew to what it is now and not just the evolution of a game but the evolution of a, of a medium and the evolution of the players that were 12 or 14 or 18 when they played this and now they're looking not all of them thank god because i still very much like you know the 14 year old fantasy crazy shit but a lot of them were going okay i want something that feels more for my sensibilities as a 30 year old well, I mean, right. I, and I so mean, hey, I, I love hey, 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 oh, all right, all right, sorry, sorry. So I, I want to get the thought out. Go back, save that thought though. Sure. Um, and so, and so the very nature of that 
uh, that meta was so powerful, both from a media standpoint, they wrote about it a lot. Uh, from a gamer standpoint, they appreciated that change. And also just from a, what a neat idea. Okay, well, that's off the table now for the most part, right? I don't think you can, you know what God of War, modern God of War is now. So that magic or that reveal is over. So now the heavy lifting of the game uh, has to be, we have to simply make the game we made before and make it better and make it a better story and make the characters better, make the puzzles better, okay. make the combat more interesting. So I don't know where they're going to go with it. I just know that that's got to be a daunting challenge. Right. Um, where I would go with it if it were me and I had made God of War 2018 and I was working on God of War, the new one. Um, let me just think for a minute. Um uh, shut up, Carlos Silex. I've asked that Sassel guy over and over. Come on to my channel. I'll go to your <laughs> channel. I'll pay for an interpreter. He's like, I don't speak English so good. I'm like, not a problem, pal. Let me get an interpreter. My treat. He ain't saying shit. He ain't saying shit. And people are like, why are you giving him a platform? I'm like, I'm not giving him a platform. I want to talk to this guy. He's either incredibly dumb, not dumb, but he's either incredibly misguided and i want to use that opportunity to educate him on some of the things he's saying that are wrong uh -huh. or i want to understand why you're such a dick both would make for good interviews he doesn't need me to platform him i mean come on man anyway where would i go with god of war i have add by the way That's my medicine's good. where my medicine's wearing off um so uh <laughs> let me just think where would i go with it i mean I really enjoyed the story in God of War, but I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't wait to know what happens to Atreus. Okay. Right. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm so, so for me, I'm excited very much for God of War because I want more and a better version of what they gave me last time, which was phenomenal. But I, I don't feel like I didn't leave God of War 2018 wanting. I wasn't like, I, 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 I have to know. Okay. Where's this going to go? You know, it, it's not like even I, I even think Resident Evil Village has a not better like it's better written because God knows it's not. But <laughs> Resident Evil Village, the ending, at least you're like, OK, I, I, I'm curious. Wh where's this going to go? I don't know if you finished it, but uh, I did, I did. there's OK. So wh what's happening with his daughter? Spoiler alert. Who is that? Spoiler alert for yeah, Resident spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. You know, who was that? At the very end, the kind of thing in the distance, you yeah. know, there's a number of things that you're like, I'm curious about. I don't think God of War, I could be wrong. I don't think God of War um, 2018 left anything dangling that was like, oh, shit, what's going to happen? Maybe they did and I've forgotten, but did was there you, anything? Uh, did you see the, the cutscene with Thor arriving at their house? Yeah, yeah, sure. But so okay. what? I mean, I, I think it's cool he's going to fight Thor, but okay. he's fought Hercules. He's fought Perseus. He's fought Zeus. Okay. I mean, it, 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 unless, yes, Thor is upset that Kratos killed his brothers. Right, yeah. But... But okay, I mean, there's, there's not. What are you doing, so, woman? We are working. This is, this is, this is, this is well, men's well, work. Well, this is men's work, woman. Okay, uh, Celtic Nord donated a hundred dollars, so I guess it he goes, it, go, it goes to him. Nice. Well, I, I'll give it to anybody who donates a hundred. That, that's good. So yeah. before I get off the air, so uh, basically, uh, follow me. I'm going to put my Twitter in right now, Celtic. Follow me on uh, Twitter. Send me uh, a message. I'll send you a DM. I'll get all your information um, and I will get this to you. I'm going down to UPS tomorrow to mail off some God of War stuff to the guy who won the auction for India. And I will mail this as well. Let me put my Twitter in. I don't know if I can write in your Twitter. Let me try though. It's at David Scott Jaffe. You mean on my, on um, my chat? I can do yeah, it. it. Okay. Right. So it's at David Scott Jaffe over on, on Twitter. At um but that's very generous. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that on yeah, behalf you, of uh, a great, great cause. Um, I'll be happy to sign it, Celtic. Whatever you want me to write, I'll, I'll write. Um, so, but anyway, yeah. So the Thor thing is cool, mm -hmm. and the Thor the Thor thing is made even cooler because of you know where Thor sits now in the 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 pop culture zeitgeist with Hemsworth and Marvel and all that stuff. Even though I know it's not that Thor, um, but. I, you know, am I missing something in terms of like, oh my God, it's Thor. Like that means something. 
Do you know well, what I'm saying? Like, what, I, I, how loaded is that as a story? Point? The, th the thing is, you wouldn't really find it in a cutscene as in old games. Uh, the game has a lot of murals. I don't know if you opened up any of them, but they tell the like, I story. I did, I did. The Ragnarok and all that. For example, there's a... The first mural you open, you actually see Modi, like the, the guy with the, uh, the shield and the electric mace, the one you fought. Mm -hmm. yeah. You actually see him fighting on the side of the giants, which are the good guys. So... I don't know what they're planning with that, but they're teasing that he might join the good guys. Because Atreus kicked him down a cliff, but we don't really saw his body. And as my girlfriend says, like, no body, no death or something like that in movies. Kind of like Darth that's, Maul. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're peppering the, like, the, the future of the story throughout the game. Sure. I, I'm not suggesting they won't have a story to tell. I'm just saying that that, to me, is not like... Oh my God! Is Kratos going to join the good? I mean, I'm not that invested. Okay, okay. I loved I loved the game. One of the favorite things I played last year. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and I thought the story was, for the most part, great. I, I, I there were a couple of problems I had with the story that I talked about in a video, but overall, I thought it was one of the best things I've played in years. That was yeah. a phenomenal game. Yeah. Um, but as much as I loved the story, I wasn't like going. I'm so invested that that level of uh, you know, I need something big. Like what? Darth Vader is Luke's father. I'm coming back for the <laughs> I, next I gotcha. one. You know, yeah. it wasn't. I didn't get that from this. Okay, okay. So, all right, yeah. that's fair, fair enough. Well, David, thank you so much, man, for being here. This, yeah, of course. I've been one for you for the longest time, but I was honestly and like nervous because I mean, you're such a big deal, man. Like you just you created this such a huge game. You've created so many awesome games, but God of War has been a thank part you. of my life for such a long time now. And I don't know. For, first of all, thank you for creating it. Like you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. I, yeah. I created it, as you know, with a lot of people. No, there I, know, is I, know, a, I know. There is a video on my channel uh, called something like "Who's the Real Father of yeah. God of War?" Or and and if anybody's really curious, I highly recommend um, watching it because it really does walk through the process of how that character got created. And I am not a shy guy. I'll take the kudos and I'll take the credit for what I did, but without. Ken Feldman, Charlie Wynn, Tim Moss, uh, I mean, f all of these, this whole team, yeah. uh, Corey, Corey Barlog, Richard Fogey, Derek Daniels, Eric Williams. I mean, that character, all characters in games, but certainly that character in that franchise has so many parents yeah. um, that, you know, let's just put it this way. I started God of War 1, and I always wanted the combat to be brutal and violent as shit, mm -hmm. but I would have been, I, I was telling people, I'm like, I'm fine. In fact, it may even be in this document when Norda gets it. Uh, or Nord gets it. Um, if if the combat would have been um, like medieval, or as deep as medieval, or as deep as Zelda Ocarina at the time, which was kind of a newish game back then, I would have been fine. Right. right? There's so. so much about this guy, this character that really was the result of all these great, passionate, hardworking motherfuckers coming together and going, I want to, I want to put my stamp on this thing. Mm -hmm. And so I appreciate the uh the uh the kudos and i'll take the ones that i deserve but more importantly i think uh yeah it was a great team it remains a great team yeah. and i i think uh hopefully you've had some of those guys on your show hopefully you've had some not of the, yet uh i'm, yeah, I'm and look I'll, bruno velasquez like he's he's such a chill yeah, guy i, I, love I, guy. I know I you know just... max Ankar. i don't know if max would do it Max, because he's very you know i don't know if sony would let him do it but your channel is not like a uh uh you know uh uh What's the word? My channel, you know, I don't really have any rules. You know, it's not a, it's not like a bad channel. It's not toxic or anything, but it's, you know, I, I don't care about offending Sony, through. Sony PR. I'm yeah, going to yeah. save something shitty in my opinion, but I don't think that's you. And so somebody like Max is Max was there from the very beginning on effects mm -hmm. and Max now leads the whole effects team. Right. And right. on all the God of War games, like there's a lot of people that would be, uh, I think fascinating to talk to that if they would talk to you to God of War fans, I think I mean, TC Carson, I think, look, I might have TC Carson on my show really because okay, I, awesome. I, well, well, I wasn't aware of what happened when I yeah. found out what happened. I reached out to him. I made an, I made an apology video to him and I don't think, like I said in my video, I don't think that was Corey or Shannon or any, or Yumi, nobody. I don't think those aren't, that's not the kind of people they are. Nobody was trying to slight him. Yeah. I just don't think people in games have the kind of experience people in movies do to even think about in the same way. Nobody called me and said, Jaffe, we want your blessing on this God of war novelization. They didn't call the actor who was TC Carson right. and go, Hey, we just want to let you know, we're changing the role. They, they, it's just not in their wheelhouse. It's yeah. starting to become in their wheelhouse as they work with professional actors, but I don't think it ever crossed their mind. 
Right. But I mean, there's a lot of people I think would be great uh, to talk to you about the show and the movie and all that. Oh stuff, no, yeah, so. I would love to have uh, people over. Here. Be awesome. All right, <laughs> sounds good. But, well, here's here's what I'll tell you guys. If you really want to think about this, if I hear back from you in the next 24 hours, anybody that donates a hundred bucks, I will send this to. Doesn't have to be right now, but it does have to be 24. Okay. Well, hey Siri, set reminder for tomorrow at 3 p.m. that no more God of War. One moment. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'll do it later. But yeah, happy to happy to do it. Well, Celtic Nord uh, got that one right. Like he's uh, he's the one. Well, there's yeah, but there's I can do more. I, I there's there are copies. There's not the original. The Mickey okay. Mania is the original. Okay, okay. But the the God of War is uh, is is a copy. But there's not many out there. There's like twenty I mean, out there in the if world. You're gonna list them, dude. Uh, I might donate as well you know <laughs> i already did but well I yeah <laughs> yeah no in. if a uh, hundred bucks to your charity that you're supporting there uh i'm more than happy to make you a copy i'll write whatever you want me to write on it and i'll get those out uh well i'll get i'll get uh i'll get celtics out tomorrow right but i'll get um anyone else's out probably the next day or later in the week because i'm i won't three o'clock won't happen before we get to the ups store okay. so um there you go, man. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you so At much. David Scott Jaffe on Twitter. I have a YouTube channel. We stream all the time. Video games, video game news, game night memberships. It's a lot of fun. Go on over there and hang out. Uh, hopefully, I'll see some of you guys over there. But in the meantime, thank you. There, there is no original yeah, I'll, demon. I'll, I'll, make, <laughs> I'll, I'll the, leave a link the, for your the, channel in the, in the description below. Because I mean, all right, I think thank this, you. Yeah. yeah, just to be clear, uh, demon, the original is digital. So there's an original file on microsoft word somewhere but it's not like any of this um you know i mean this this was a document made in like 2002 or 2001 where we had the internet so there was never anything but a copy of this so i guess i could sell you the nft version if i could find the original document all right i'm out thank you guys thank i appreciate you, so much, you having David. me man thank you, you hope soon. to have you again bye -bye. soon all right <laughs> bye yep anytime